What's up, guys? This is Kyle from Wax Museum. I am back with another card show recap. A quick one for you today. As you can see here, I'm, I'm loading stuff in the car, and I feel like this is something I neglect on a lot of the recaps, the loading and unloading, but this happens four times throughout the day, and uh, probably my least favorite part, but if you want to do the fun stuff later in the day, then you've got to do that. So once you get everything loaded up, time to get in the car. And um, head into the show, I was kind of thinking about it. You know, August has this reputation of, um, you know, August shows are typically not all that great. Things can be kind of slow. And, you know, I'm going to say here that not everyone was set up here. There was a lot more traffic and a lot more dealers later on. But um, typically, August card shows are slow. That's been my experience. And it was consistent with this one as well. And someone at the show, when I said that, they asked me, well, why is that? And, you know, there's not necessarily one factor, but it could be a number of things. You know, summer's coming to an end, school's starting soon, priorities are shifting, um, there's no basketball right now, football hasn't quite started, so, you know, you never know. But as you can see here, I set up regardless, got my showcase of stuff, I've got my mixed boxes here, I've got a, you know, a little bit of an assortment on the table, I tried to have stuff from different sports that I thought might catch people's eye. I've got some binders here, and then you'll see the last thing I put together, I took one of the lots I bought recently, all the base cards from, and I said, you know what, a quarter piece, I added some other stuff in, $15 for the box. Thought someone would do that, but they didn't. Um, now, one thing I do like about shows is the opportunity to buy. I didn't buy a lot today, but pretty early on, I found this uh, second year Chris Paul patch, number 22 out of 25, and you can see it even says Oklahoma City Hornets because they were displaced because of Hurricane Katrina, but I actually grabbed that for 20 bucks, so that was a, um, you know, a no-brainer for me. I'll add it to my PC. As far as other buying opportunities, you know, there was some of your usual stuff here. Um, you can see some of the blasters and some of the retail stuff. If you're looking for that, you know, yes, it's still going to be here. I didn't grab any um, I actually got a, you know, some gifts from some people. So here, uh, Cam, who's someone that I set up by, he gave me some of these cards. He knows that I like the retro cards for my PC. He joked that this Gary Payton would replace my rubies. And then I've got this number David Harrison card. So thanks, Cam, for doing that. I appreciate that. And then also Robert came by my table and he said, hey, here's some Pacers refractors for your Pacers refractor binder. So that project is coming along nicely. Always nice to have friends that will help out with that as well. So uh, anyway, I, you know, I wanted to get some more footage of some of the other cards here. I thought this vintage Jackie Robinson, I thought that was a good price on that. Uh, I just didn't want to spend that on a card, you know, on, on the day. But uh, guess what? It didn't make it through the day. So I wasn't surprised by that. Um, there was some value box digging, if, if that's more to your liking. And I did find a box at the end of the day. I got seven cards here for two bucks. It's basically a quarter a piece, but um, I only found seven. So you see that, you know, retro Paul Pierce, the Jerry West. Got a couple Russells here from one of my favorite insert sets. Got a Derek Coleman, one of a kind. So that one's numbered out of 150. Or I'm sorry, that one's 200. Um, we've got a Steve Francis floor piece with a film reel. Not a great card, but a no-brainer for a quarter. And then this Tim Duncan insert die cut insert from threads from 2009 i really like that set so um can't go wrong with that that's not going to break the bank i love digging through boxes you guys know that no surprise um but then you know looking at other showcases here's some stuff i like there was a early bulls media guide which was something different um i have one of these russell autographs but um always nice to see another one and of course you know there was a little more russell stuff because of his recent passing and um, my friend said, hey, make sure you get the uh, my whatnot plug in there. So I promised him that I would do that. Um, but now when when there's not a lot of buying there, you know, there wasn't a lot that I found that I wanted to buy. Um, thankfully, Cam came over and he said, hey, let's make a trade. So he remembered that he had this Sam Jones that I wanted. And he took that out of his binder. It's a 2012 Prism Silver. And I had a few things he wanted, like a Post Malone Ginter card and a couple other things. So we made a quick little trade. So um, kudos to Cam for creating an opportunity even when things were slow. Um, it helped pass the time. It's nice to you know cycle some cards out and get some different stuff. So I was happy with that. And then I'll just play the reverse footage of what you saw at the start. My absolute least favorite part of the show is the unloading when you go home, but it is what it is. So anyway, thanks for watching as always. Mm -hmm.